Welcome back to the Lego Harry Potter Your Spawn Through 4 100% walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. This part 53 and this part we're doing level 2 of year 4 dragons. So you're going to need a dark wizard in this level. So equip your dark wizard of choice. I'm equipping Tom Riddle as usual. And we're going to go straight into the level as we always do. Uh, we got a few things to talk about in this level. Not much, but a few things. So, um, uh, all of these lamps that you can see around here. If you collect all five of them, I believe it is. Um, or nine, actually. You will get the Gryffindor House Crest. But the problem is that I didn't really keep my eyes... I really... I didn't really keep my eyes open for them when I was recording this, so I didn't get the Gryffindor House Quest. But I returned to this level straight after I recorded it to get the Gryffindor House Quest. And yeah, that's the thing I did. So we're going to go inside here and we're going to move that purple egg through the through the pipes and we're going to leave it with the red dragon isn't it the Chinese fireball or something like that believe it is and the dragon has its baby dragon which is really cute look at that it's really cute um but yeah I think there's another lamp over here yes there is right there Make sure you look out for them because I got to the end of this level and I and I saw that I hadn't got the Gryffindor House Crest and I was wondering why haven't I got the Gryffindor House Crest and then I went back and I saw that I actually hadn't collect I hadn't got all of the lamps which was really annoying but you know this that's just a lesson to show you that you have to actually keep your eyes open when you go through this level in free play mode or else you will probably forget some things and it will be very annoying when you get to the end Pro I, I promise it's gonna be very annoying yeah we're going past here so through the level there are some of these digging spots and they are dark objects but when you use crucial on them uh, you only get some studs so I thought that it was a glitch the first time when I did that, but it actually isn't. You only get a few studs to throw from those dark object chests. There's not like special things in them. So just remember that so don't freak out if you don't get anything. Back here there is a purple stud as well as two blue ones, so I would suggest getting those if you if you're having pro a problem getting free um free play mode getting true wizard just remember that that's something i would recommend each time you go to a level if you're like way if you do, if you have like many thousand stars to collect before you get true wizard then i would suggest like searching the corners because there's off there's often like purple or blue studs in the corner so just remember that if you're having a problem. So now we have this, uh, isn't it, the Swedish sword snout or something like that. Just going to play, uh, hit the colors that it wants it to hit. So first it's red and yellow, like that. And then it's green, yellow and blue. So I'm just going to swipe it along the board, like so. Like that. And then it's red, yellow, blue and green. Red, yellow, blue and green. So that's red. That's yellow. That's blue. And that that's yellow. I failed. So embarrassing. Yeah, it happens quite a few times when I actually play this last one that I actually fail. It's very embarrassing. And that's it. And now you can actually go past. But when you see the dragon goes down and it starts sleeping, yellow colors start coming out. So play yellow and yellow and yellow over and over and you will actually get 
the Hufflepuff Faust Crust. Yay. So that's actually, it's quite hard finding that out. But hopefully you now know how to get the Hufflepuff Faust Crust if you had problem problems getting it. It took me quite a long time to figure that out the first time I played it myself, actually. So don't feel like stupid if you don't know where it is. That's another one of those lamps. And here is an actual dark object. I uh, get Tom Riddle. Okay, first we're going to dig out this. And then we're going to get Tom Riddle. And get a few stars from that chest. And then we're going to go over to this dark object. And from this one you actually get something. You get the... Um, Durmstrang student character stud. Which is great. Is that the first character start we've actually gotten in this level? Yeah, I actually think so. We only got one character start. A bit strange. Uh, move the water over the fire to uh, get the fire away. Like so. And we're going to put the stairs or or bridge or whatever it's supposed to be together with Ngarnum Nebulosa. And we're going to go over here. There's another one of those lamps. And here's another dragon. This is the blue one. I think this is Fleur's dragon. So... I can't remember. Swedish short snout. Chinese firebolt. Hungarian horntail. And... No, I can't remember. I've probably mixed together the names of the dragons. But I can't remember the fourth and last dragon. I can't, which is annoying. That's just how it is though. Um, yeah. This is easy though to get past here. And there's skeleton there, which is a dark object. You squish you on it, and it disintegrates. And then put the skeleton together again with Mugano Mebiosa. And the skeleton will start fishing. And it will get its fishing rod and start fishing down in this little pool of water. And out comes... Out comes da 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 The Ravenfield House Crest. So that's great. Now we only... We've got the Awful Puff and the Ravenfield House Crest now. And we've now... There's the 8th out of 9. So obviously, apparently I only missed one. It seems. So we have to make this bridge right here. There's a lot of studs here, but if you can remember when we did story mode of this, I actually got I accidentally I accidentally got um, free play uh, student in peril and no true wizard. So that was a little bit annoying, but that means that I actually got free play. I really can't talk today. I'm really sorry about that. I. I've already got uh, True Wizard, but that does not mean that I shouldn't get more studs, so I am trying to get more studs, because you need a lot of studs in this game. But we do have red bricks, and from that we can get like a stud um, um, increases, like when you get one stud, it's like increases with 10. So when you get a thousand stud, it will get like ten thousand. When you get a ten thousand, you get a hundred thousand. So it's really great. It's, it, when you get those red bricks, it will be quite easy. But we won't get them until we're at Hogwarts. And that's in a little while, actually. So from that vault, you get Cedric's sweater. There's actually two vaults in this level, though. Um, out of this box there will be some pieces and when we put it together those pieces here with being on a so we will actually get a dragon which fits perfectly in with the level like that it's actually quite a cute dragon just look at it it's going to get this down really slowly and then it dies die it gets ruined and we get a lot of studs from it. And behind here is the Slytherin House Crest. 
So where is the last lamp actually? But inside here you get the dragon handler which is the third and last uh, characters in this level. So now we got all three of them. We only miss the... the um, we only need the student pole and the Gryffindor house quest but we, I didn't get the Gryffindor house quest which is annoying. There we can actually see the dragon handler as well. And it's going to run off like that. Over here is the second and last vault of the level. Inside there is actually the student apparel, so we're just going to open it. And out comes student apparel. A girl. Couldn't have been really very... It couldn't have been very comfortable comfortable being inside that vault. Oh, I'd, oh god, I'd, I wouldn't like being inside a vault. Now the Dragon Hunter is showing us that we need to be invisible to get past the Hunger and Horntail. It's good that we've got Harry, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. But first we have to get Fangs and we're going to dig through here like that. And we're going to go down here. It's another one of those um, 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 things when you have to have one character at one place just like we had in the black tower it's like that now we're going to be harry and we're going to put on our invisibility cloak and we're going to go past the dragon and it can't see us which is great and get past here get away this plant kill it like that then we're going to get this up just like that and Hagrid is going to make it able for us to go through here as well but I still haven't seen the last lamp actually and that's a cruise ship sorry about that if you could hear it it's just a really loud sound from a cruise ship but yeah we're going to loosen at this and there's the Hungarian Horntail and that's the end of the level and stop making so much noise you cruise ship. That's the end of the level and now we're going to go back so in the next part I would have already gotten the Gryffindor House quest for this level. We get this Durmstrang student, Cedric Sweater and also the Dragon Handler as the three character studs of this level. We only got the Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff House Quests. And we got 73,000 stars, which is a bonus, and it's really great. And what else do we got? We've got Student in Peril as well. And we got two gold breaks for that. So, hope you will see the next part. See you then.